For those of you who don't know what topology really is, topology in 3D modeling is basically how your vertices are arranged in space or your edges or your faces are arranged in space or in your 3D space to form the object you're trying to achieve. So basically, why is it good to have, I mean, why it doesn't matter to have a good topology and why shouldn't you have a bad topology, okay? so. Basically, these have the advantages and disadvantages, and obviously, the advantages of the uh, good topology outweighs that of the bad topology. But yeah, so let's dive right into it. Okay, so right here, I have two meshes. Okay, obviously, they are identical when you get out of edit mode. Okay, so basically, let's say we created two different meshes. Okay, maybe I created the one on the left, and you created the one on the right. Okay, so we ended up having the same uh, mesh outcome, which is a, a sphere. But when we dive into the edit mode, we have uh, different arrangements of our vertices, okay? But obviously, we have the same mesh. So, what makes the one on the right actually better than the one on the left? Or what makes the one on the left way better than the one on the right? So, let's jump into the advantages of good topology and uh, bad topology and uh, compare the both, okay? So, basically, one reason why you want to have a good topology is to be able to easily modify it to be able to make some changes to it whenever you want to or whenever someone gets your model they can actually make easy changes to it without having any complications so for example if we take the one on the right right here if we want to maybe pull this whole edge here inside like this let me just disable this real quick we want to pull this whole edge inside like this just to create some kind of hole in this area we can pretty much do that easily without worrying about how straight this edge is or maybe you want to pull in this uh, hole over here we want to create a hole in here we can just insert and then just pull this in whichever way we want to pretty much okay but compared to the one on the left right here we pretty much can have a straight line selection okay we can go ahead and then select this but it, it won't end up being a straight line. You can see everything is just randomly placed in this mesh and it's it's pretty much just uh, complicated in most cases, okay? So in this case, the one on the right is going to do a better job for, I mean, it's going to be easily modified compared to the one on the left. Okay, that's, that's basically it. Now, another thing is, uh, Though we might not be able to see this when we get out of edit mode, uh, you'll notice you can see some weird artifacts on this and uh, to better to better show you guys this, I'm going to change the matte cap to a, uh, a shiny one, okay? So if you take a look at the one on the left, I mean take a look at both of these uh, reflections on these uh, spheres. If you take a look at this one, getting around here you can see the, uh, the reflection kind of breaks and then moves up a bit before going or, or continuing all the way to the right. But compared to this one, this one is actually just straightforward, all the way just goes through without any uh, interruptions or anything of that sort. So if you're going to be having, if you're having bad topologies in your mesh, you're, you're going to end up having some artifacts. I mean, it's not always that it happens, but in most cases, you're going to have artifacts in your 3D model. So that is another reason why you want to have a really good topology. All right. So the third thing to uh, have a good topology, I mean, what makes a good topology different from bad topology is uh, applying certain uh, modifiers to them. So for example, uh, the most used modifier would be subdivision surface, okay? And you, if you're a 3D modeler, you would know by now that uh, subdivision surface doesn't really go too well with bad topologies, okay? So if you have really bad topologies, subdivision surface is really going to show you that your, your mesh is actually really that bad in topology unless you know how to control your subdivision surface which obviously you can only do that with a good topology then you're obviously going to have some artifacts so if you go ahead and then add subdivision surface to both of these meshes real quick so i'm going to add subdivision surface to both of them you can instantly detect some uh, weird artifacts on this mesh over here and uh, i'm going to show you that much better with a better reflective mat cap so if i move up and down on the mesh on the left right here you can see the reflection just isn't stable, it just moves around, just jagged all around. Compared to the one on the left, you can see the reflection is just uh, stable. It doesn't really have any kind of interference to it, it's just pretty much smooth. And that's pretty much due to the uh, subdivision surface that we added in. So if you want to be applying, if you're going to be applying modifiers like subdivision surface to your mesh, it's best to have a good topology. Make sure your, your uh, meshes are arranged very nicely in space to compensate for that. Alright, so the next thing is... Uh, Get, having good topology on your meshes actually shows how good of a 3D modeler you are. So for example, say you're selling your 3D models on uh, 
websites like Turbo Squid or Blender Market or any of these 3D model selling websites, okay? You're basically going to be selling your models. And let's say, again, I created one on the left and you created one on the right. And yours is going for maybe 20 bucks and then mine is only going for 5 bucks, okay? That's $5 compared to $20, okay? And then someone goes online and then find these two meshes. Obviously, they are the same, okay? But we both post a, uh, we both put up a wireframe render of both of these meshes, okay? And this person ends up seeing these uh, wireframe renders and then also how the surface looks. And then now he's conflicted on which one to pick, okay? Obviously someone would want to go for the better mesh, but here's the case yours cost more than mine. And uh, the surface already looks the same, or in most cases it does, okay? And uh, mine costs 5 bucks, yours costs 20 bucks. So what is going to make this, guy's, uh, this guy actually choose yours over mine, okay? Uh, good topology is gonna count. That's where your, yours is going to have a great advantage, the good topology and how the mesh looks and how it's going to react under modifiers and uh, yeah, obviously the price too, but mine is way less of a price, about a fourth of your price and uh, that is going to pull that person to come for mine more. So these are the reasons why someone is going to pick your mesh over mine or pick mine over yours. If this person is going to, going to be applying any subdivision surface to the 3D model he's going to be using, then obviously he's going to go for mine because mine already looks good without a subdivision surface and adding a subdivision surface is going to ruin the surface and everything, but he's not going to be adding any subdivision surface. So why not go for mine because it's cheaper, right? But if he's going to be applying subdivision surface and he's going to be very keen about the quality then obviously he's going to go he's going to, he's going to go for yours because yours is going to come out great in the end with a subdivision service or whatever modifier is going to add in also if the person is going to make any modifications to the 3d model he would have to be able to do that quite easily and in that case yours is going to be the the one he's going to choose but if he's not going to be making any modifications to the 3d model then obviously he's going to go for mine so this is where things start to you know so what actually makes a good topology okay so what actually counts for a topology to be good so the first thing is the least amount of vertices in you use in your mesh is going to prove that it's good topology I don't know if that makes any sense but let's go further okay so the next thing is you're going to try to keep quads as much as possible avoid end guns try to avoid triangles as much as possible and try your best to be keeping quads okay as much as possible and then the third thing is uh, you want to make the spaces in between each of these vertices quite even, or the faces, the edges. Everything should be try. You should try and keep such things as even as possible. I mean, it doesn't have to be even, but just try your best and keep it as even as possible because it goes a long way to make your topology look good, and basically how you arrange everything on your mesh. So, what makes a bad topology an advantage over a good topology? Well. The first thing is, uh, bad topology is quite easy to achieve, okay? But getting good topology is quite complicated for some surfaces. Some surfaces have to get a good topology for them, okay? So basically, achieving bad topologies can, can, can come out just as easily as just, you know, just moving your vertices here and there, and you basically have the surface that you need. That's basically it. That's how easy to get a bad topology, and that's how... A bad topology has an advantage of a good topology, but my advice is try to keep a good topology as much as possible as it is it is the best way to you know sell yourself as a good 3D modeler and sell I mean get much more clients on your 3D selling websites or anything like that. So yeah, that's pretty much it. And uh this was a model I made about two years ago and the topology was something I had in consideration. I really wanted topology to look good. And this was after I took a course on CG Masters, okay? A Jeep course, of course. I was just trying to practice the skill that I learned from that website, and it actually came out great. These are some pictures, but uh, the bad thing is I actually lost this 3D model. That was the worst day of my life, but at least I did get a good skill out of this, so yeah. Try to keep your meshes as good as possible in topology, and uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. I'll see you guys in the next video.